Hi, this is Ferdinand from Cube Training. In this video, we'll be talking about box cameras. I know that you've got loads of cushions. Uh, what is a box camera? Why we should bother learning about box cameras? Can we just simply install a bullet camera? What is a box camera? This is a box camera. Box camera is a box camera. So you don't have any lens. So it's just a simple box. Now, if I compare this camera to a normal bullet camera, this is a bullet camera. Now in this bullet camera, you already have lens inbuilt. So there are two types of cameras that you could buy. You could buy the prefix uh, lens camera. So this is a six millimeter lens. Uh, you could also buy the very focal. So it then gives you, probably if it's a bullet camera, you're gonna get a screws here, two screws that will allow you to set the lens to different sizes. But you're never gonna come across a, a huge range. You normally get 2.8 mil to 12 mil. So the dome cameras are just dome shaped and it's pretty much like bullet cameras. They do come in different type of lens, different size of lens. You could have a very focal one where you could change the lens size. But again, you can't remove the lens and you can't put another lens on it. So you have to stick to what they've given you. So that's a, a dome camera, cameras. So the box cameras, they don't come with any lens. So it's up, it's up to you to buy the right lens. Uh, when you come to lens, uh, what you have to bear in mind is there are two types of lens, CS and C mount lens. So you have to buy the right one so that you can then connect the uh, camera with the lens. Now, for example, uh, if I buy a CS mount um, and my camera turns out to be a C mount, it's not that difficult because I can just take the adapter out and then connect it. Uh, but if I buy a C mount lens and my camera is a CS mount, then I have to go and buy an adapter. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, connect the lens to this camera and I'm going to show you the other features that you get with uh, box cameras and also uh, you understand about different requirements from customers. For example, if your customer says they want a camera that scores on top of the till and um, you now know what type of cameras to buy. Um, Sometimes you put a dome camera or bullet camera, uh, you could see everything that's happening in the till area but if a customer says that oh the, I can't see the bank notes clearly that because you don't have the right focal point uh, in that case a box camera would be an ideal solution so you can calculate your uh, focal point using the calculators then buy a box camera then buy the lens separate and attach to it uh, then you get a solution that kind of suits the customer's requirement now you can see this box camera and um, what we're going to do now is we're going to install uh, one of these lens to this camera and before you start um, you could see here and um, there's a there's tiny bit tiny screws here so you've got to unscrew them but make sure that you don't unscrew all the way if you do that then if it drops it then it's not gonna be easy to find them again now as I said to you before this is a C mount camera so instead of using a CS mount lens. Now you could see the clearly see the adapter here, uh, which is about uh, five millimeter. Then you could use the C mount lens, which there is no adapter. So what you now do is the C mount lens can be connected to a C mount. So you just connect it like that. Then you just screw these screws back. There are three screws here, tiny screws. And it's so important that you screw them correctly. Okay, so they now nicely fit into the camera. The next thing you do is, it's because it's a very focal camera, it comes with a lead that requires nine volt power for it to operate its auto irish. So it controls the light level. So that one then, then need to be connected to the camera. So you see here, the nine volt output, just simply connect it there. So that's how you connect the lens to a box camera. So the another advantage of box camera is it, it has quite a lot of uh, options. For example, uh, let's start with the input for power. So you've got 12 volt and ground, and also you've got a normally close. Um, then you got the BNC where you connect to your video and um, then you have a menu that you could just use the menu to change things like brightness, contracts and so on. Um, then you have um, output and inputs um, so you could connect sensors to it and also you could 
take an output and then activate another device. Um, so it does come with quite a lot of options compared to a normal cameras. Now you can see I've connected uh, a shotgun cable to box camera. Um, so you could see the plus and minus and, and the video. So the plus and minus, plus goes to 12 volt, and, um, which is your red cable, and the ground, which is your black cable, that goes to ground. And then from there, I'm just taking the video output. Now we'll be connecting uh, a BNC to um, a DVR. So I'm just going to connect this one to, say, a video 3. And when you come to the power, uh, we normally use, you can see that two cables now, we normally connect them to a power supply. So when you come to power supply, you have two options. You could use a normal laptop type, type power supply. So if you do that, then you have to connect a DC female here and then connect that to a power supply. If not, then you can connect them to a box CCTV power supply. Um, I normally advise people to go with a box CCTV power supply. Um, because it does come with fuse and it's well protected. So it's better to go with a box CCTV camera. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect these two to a box CCTV camera. Uh, in, a, in a real world, you will have the box power supply close by your DVR. So it's easy for you to sort of connect the video, then take this cable out and then go to the box power supply. Um, so it is, it is important that you leave the box power supply close by the DVR. Yeah, you could see that I've connected um, the power lead to 0 volt and um, 12 volt. Um, and so that's coming from the camera. So this end, then it goes to the power box. And the other end, that goes to the DVR. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, please visit our website, which is www.cctvdvrsystem.co.uk. Thank you.